I'm here at Biocord with Mori, the Chief Scientific Officer, aka Genius yeah. on Biocord. Yeah, Genius, who has been a part of this since the beginning, right? You yep. uh, tell me how long you've been a part of it and what's your role here? Well, it's been uh, almost 25 years, Rosie. So, I mean, 25 years. There's been so many advancements that I, you know, I've even heard of over the last few years. There must have been so many things that have happened over those years. Um, mm. You can bet, you know, hardly believe. Tell me a little bit about some of the new areas of research, but also some of the original ones and how far they've come. Yeah, 25 years ago, we had no expectations that there would be much more you could do with the cord blood yeah. than you can do with bone marrow. But now, um, since the first transplant in 1988, there's now been over 30,000 transplants. And at this point, 22% of all transplants are done using cord blood. So it's really become a standard source for transplants, even in adults. This is something you know you hear in the media, stem cells, and that mm. can be different things people are talking about, but this is not something that may happen in the future. You guys are actually really yeah. processing, freezing, and using to save lives and discovering new things. This is not a crazy sort of mystical science of the future. It's now. It's now. What's been really exciting is in the last uh, five or more years, we've seen a shift in the use of cord blood in experimental clinical trials for children with brain damage, for instance, in cerebral palsy, or with autoimmune diseases like type 1 diabetes, or even autism, where there's a dysfunction of the brain. And we're not necessarily talking about curing these diseases, we're talking about um, making their um, outcomes better so that the kid with cerebral palsy can, you know, perhaps ride a bike or uh, write or speak better mm -hmm. or attend first grade and, and be right. more functional, which is very important to parents. So I guess one of the things that you know, is hard for parents but also important to know is that in order to be involved in these trials, mm -hmm. um, in order to maybe have the cord blood later to be treated, to use for treatment, you have to make that decision though before you have your baby so it can be collected at the time yeah, of delivery. Yeah, I know every parent hopes that their, their baby right. is fine and um, the, the fact is, though, if something does go wrong, you want to have as many options as you can, and you need to understand the value of these mm -hmm. stem cells. And that's something you have to think about when you're thinking of, I know families are painting nurseries and buying mm -hmm. strollers, and there's a lot of expenses involved, but uh, you know, there's nothing more valuable than the health of your child, and it's, you won't have another chance to go back and get these. That's, that's, the, that's for yeah. sure. What do you sort of hold as the greatest achievement here at Viacord? I think the greatest achievement is really in our results. We've released over 300 units to treat uh, children. Mm -hmm. um, about 150 or more of those have been used in transplants, and we do follow them. We do track the efficacy of the treatments, and we've seen in units that we've released for transplant 88% survival, which is the highest reported for any bank. Um, so we're very proud of that, and it has a lot to do with how we process the units. That's high, because these things that you're treating, they're they're not like a little sickness. I mean, we're no, talking these, these about serious are, diseases. Yeah, these are serious uh, life-taking mm -hmm. diseases. What's the thing you would like parents to think about most when they're making this decision? Well, first, I'd like them to think that they're going to have a healthy baby and never mm -hmm. use the stem cells. I think what they have to do is understand that this is a, a brief moment in time, uh, really comes down to minutes after the birth when the cord blood and the cord tissue is available. So they need to be thinking about that well in advance mm -hmm. and they need to consider their options for storing the unit in the best possible way. Yeah, it, I mean, I think it's amazing. I think it's, as a parent, you, as you said, you never want to think of your child getting sick, but if you do choose to bank and you do choose to have that option if it comes up, I mean, you got you to gotta know that it's safe. The, the thought that you could make all those choices and then it might not be safe is terrible. So knowing that what you guys are doing here at Biocord um, is going to protect that choice is yeah. a great thing. Thank you so much. I feel like I've learned so much today. Um, and as you know, a parent making all these really difficult choices, I just I feel good knowing that I chose to bank with Biocord and that I know that those cells are safe. So I really hope that everybody's learned the things that we need to ask to make the right decisions. So thank you. Thank you very much. For more information on Biocord and cord blood banking, visit Biocord.com or call 866-565-2238.